Hey guys, what is up? This is Matt Fist, the movie lover here. Welcome back to another movie review. This time it's going to be on Nocturnal Animals. And this is a film that I watched um, a few days ago while I was with my dad. And, um, yeah, this is a film that kind of interested me a little bit. Um, it wasn't like this big movie that came out. It was like in a limited, or no, worldwide release, but... Um, it was critically acclaimed, but unfortunately it only made $10 million in box office result in the U.S. So, this film, so winner of the Grand Jury Prize at the 2016 Venice International Film Festival, from writer-director Tom Ford comes a haunting, this is a haunting romantic thriller of shocking intimacy and gripping tension that explores the thin lines between love and cruelty and revenge and redemption. Um, Academy Award nominees include Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal, who star as a divorced couple discovering dark truths about each other and themselves in, of course, this film. Now, Amy Adams was in... This film was nominated for only one Oscar and I think a few Golden Globes. Um, Amy Adams was in this film and, um, Arrival, which, um, got huge Oscar buzz, and, um, basically, uh, Nocturnal Animals, now here's the thing, here's one thing why, um, my dad wanted me to check out this film, this is probably pretty stupid, but, <laughs> there was, this has one of the weirdest opening credit sequences I've seen, since I don't know when, but the, the opening credits sequence, they weren't bad, they weren't laughably bad, but they were just so disturbing. Like, I was just laughing really hard. I, I did not expect, my dad was like, this is probably the most disturbing opening credit. And I'm going to spoil it for you. Alright, the opening credit sequence, the opening credit sequence has a naked, fat lady dancing <laughs> that was just sh shocking i couldn't believe <laughs> i can't believe i'm just thinking about it now but that's pretty much the only weird part of the movie the rest of it is serious but you know this story to this film definitely has some really interesting concepts like it's not really an anthology film per se, but it's just, I like how it goes from one story to the other story, like how Amy Adams is just reading the story and reminds her about what happened when she got her divorce, and it certainly does mess with, well not really mess with your mind, I keep using that term so many times, but Nocturnal Animals has one of Jake Gyllenhaal's best performances since Nightcrawler and Amy Adams' best performance, one of her best performances since Arrival, and this is definitely one of her best films in a really long time. It certainly does know what it's trying to be, and, um, so yeah, I, I, I would have liked it if, uh, a lot of people went to go see, see this film, because $10 million is just $10 million. it certainly doesn't feel like it should have made more, I mean, it definitely should have, and um, I will say, Nocturnal Animals is definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it. I'm going to give the movie a 4 out of 5. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. I will see you guys later. Word out.